Have you ever heard of Mackinac Island? If you haven't, it's an island that is in Michigan and it's in Lake Huron, right by Lake Michigan, and it's a popular vacation spot for Midwesterners and people all over the country. And there's no cars on the island, so it's just a very like cute, quaint place to visit. Last weekend, I went with my family for my mom's 60th birthday, and we camped in St. Ignace and then took the ferry from there. And the ferry that we caught did a little detour under the Mackinac Bridge. And I've never gone to Mackinac Island from this side of the bridge before, so it was really different. I think it was maybe better because it was a lot less crowded, but I'm pretty sure there's less ferries and they run less frequently. Mackinac Island is one of my favorite destinations that I've ever been to. I've been there probably like six times maybe, but I just always love coming back because it's so cute and just so like magical and summery. Even though it's only like a day's drive away from where I grew up, I still love it. The first thing that I did when I got off the boat was went to a local cafe for some coffee because we had coffee at the camper, but it was like really bad. And then we just walked to this little park area right by the fort and just kind of sat and drank the coffee. And then after that, we walked down by this marina, which is right next to the park. And I went out on the dock because I wanted to look in the water. And it's so clear. You can see like literally everything and there's a bunch of like plants in there and they just look really cool. There are so many things to do on Mackinac Island. I never have time to do everything in one visit. I've never spent more than one day here at a time just because hotels on the island are so expensive. Someday when I get a boat, I really want to bring it here and dock it for a few days. I think that'd be really fun. Next we just went for a walk around the island because we were headed to Arch Rock and we stopped at this church that I just think is pretty. I like to look at churches sometimes because I really like their architecture. And something else that I love about Mackinac Island is all of the old like Victorian style buildings and the flowers and gardens that they have. A lot of the houses here have like really nice big gardens and there's just like flowers everywhere. And I'm obsessed with flowers, so that's really exciting to me. This is my parents' dog, Skipper. He loves swimming in the water, so anytime we'd go by the water, he would try to jump in. But that staircase is how you get up to Arch Rock. I don't know how many stairs there are, but there are a ton. And this is Arch Rock. You can actually walk out on the edge right there, if you can see, and it's just like a rock formation that looks like an arch, and you can see the water through it, and it's really pretty up here. I don't know how other people feel, but I definitely think that Mackinac Island is the cutest island in the United States, so let me know in the comments. After climbing all those steps, we were really hungry, so we went to Mighty Max Hamburgers, and food on Mackinac Island can be really expensive, and this place is actually pretty affordable for food and it was really good and they have this nice outdoor seating so I recommend coming here if you're looking for food on a budget and then after eating we went in some shops because it was like the hottest part of the day and we were really hot walking around so we wanted to be in the air conditioning I'm obsessed with this mug but I didn't get it but I did get two of those round stickers and aside from those things I just bought a t-shirt and I didn't really buy that much and while we were there shopping, the power went out for like maybe an hour. The power does go out on the island sometimes, so make sure you have cash on hand if you want to continue to shop and eat because they don't accept credit cards when there's no power. And then we just sat on this beach for a little while. We sat in the shade and then we just walked around. Since there's no cars on the island, there's horses that pull like all of the carts. And this is a delivery driver, you can see all the Amazon packages. 
these are really cute houses they're like victorian style i don't know exactly their formal style name but i just think they're really cute and after that we just walked up to the grand hotel this is a giant chess set which is cool and that's the grand hotel it's a really old hotel that's like massive it always reminds me of wes anderson movies for some reason but yeah to stay here it is really expensive and i've never stayed here of course I believe you can actually tour parts of it, but I've never done that before either. And then we went to find the secret garden. This is the secret garden that I've seen all over TikTok. And I've actually never seen it before this and I didn't even know it existed. So I don't know how old it is, but it's really cool. And it was actually really hard to find. So you might want to look into where it is before you come. It's really hard for me to explain it. So I'm just not even going to try. I'll just say that search for it on TikTok maybe but it's definitely worth it because it's really pretty and this is just another view of the hotel it's a really pretty view and all of these flowers around it just make it look so much prettier when you're visiting Mackinac Island you can rent bikes I have done it a few times before but we didn't have time to do it on this trip I wish we would have but we just didn't really have time so I recommend you do it if you do have time after this, we went in a few more shops and then we caught the ferry to leave the island because we were all really tired and hungry. I did stop and get some fudge before leaving. Mackinac Island is known for their fudge and I just really wanted to bring some to my mother-in-law because she was watching our dogs. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it and have a good day.